Hi friends, welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new. My name is Darian. I am a 30 year old mom of two who is an aspiring writer. <laughs> um, so on this channel, I talk about lifestyle things. I'm a military spouse, so there's military life stuff sprinkled in uh, and mostly now it's just writing, um, which I love to talk about. So uh, because I have some lofty goals, for this year, like writing four books. Uh, I'll leave that video linked up above. I figured that in order <laughs> to hold myself accountable, I needed accountability buddies. And since there is almost 700 of us on this channel at the time I'm filming this, um, maybe we've hit 700 by then, that would be awesome. But since there's 700 of you <laughs> watching this channel, every once in a while, I figured what better way than to use this channel as my accountability buddy. So this is going to be like a three pronged approach, if you will, to accountability. So the first prong is going to be monthly wrap ups. Where I'm going to be talking about reading and writing and, you know, sprinklings of lifestyle stuff in there just to make things a little interesting. The second prong approach is going to be weekly writing vlogs, which I am hoping to establish the week after this video goes live. So the first week of February, you should have a writing vlog from me. <laughs> um, make sure that you're here on the 7th <laughs> to see if I, you know, cop out of doing this. And then the third prong approach to the third prong of this approach is going to be quarterly assessments. I don't know if that's the right word. <laughs> Basically, we're here to talk about what I did this month as far as reading goes and writing goes. Now, disclaimer, if this is the first video that you are seeing from me, my family moved a thousand miles from Georgia to Kansas in the month of January. So my house is a disaster. Everything is chaos. Um, not a lot of writing happened this month, but I still am really proud of myself for how much I read and how much I wrote. So let's get right into that that's my little caveat. So I think we'll start with writing first. Um, so big <laughs> celebration to kick this video off with. I finally finished my NaNoWriMo novel, the zero draft of my NaNoWriMo novel uh, called Spellrunner. Um, I'll leave the entire playlist of me writing that book up here um, if you want to check it out if you don't know what I'm talking about. So it's a YA fantasy series not series, it's standalone. <laughs> um, I think it kind of has morphed into a series, uh, but I would really like to just write it as a standalone. That's a problem for future me. Um, so yeah, I finished the first draft, the zero draft. I'm not even going to call it a first draft because uh, towards the end there was a lot of this happens, then this happens, then this happens, and not a lot, a whole lot of like actual writing happening like prose wise. Um, but I learned a lot from finishing that project and um, I will actually link that video that I just did recently about everything I learned from finishing that project in case you want to check that out as well. Um, all the videos I mentioned will be linked down below too in case that's easier for you uh, or in case I'm pointing at the wrong side of the screen which I often do. So yes that was my big goal for the month of January was to finish that project um, as I did not actually win NaNoWriMo or finish that project during the month of November. My goal was to finish it by January 31st which was yesterday as I'm filming this because it's February 1st um, and I actually finished it a week early so that was a great um, felt really good about that and it is the first novel I have written from start to finish with like a cohesive plot <laughs> basically. Um, so I'm really proud of myself. The second bit of like writing that I did this month was a short story which is just called Solar Powered Peonies right now. I don't really have a title for it. Um, I did not finish it. Uh, one of my goals was to write a short story every month. It's not finished but um, I'm really proud of where it is and basically I need to <laughs> go into my short stories with more of an outline. Um, I am still kind of like learning mm, a lot of writing craft related things. Um, so really this month taught me that I need to go into short stories with at least some sort of an outline. The story started off with me just kind of like pantsing 200 to 300 words. Um, and it's now about a thousand words and I don't really know where it's going. I, I mean, I know kind of where it's going, but um, it doesn't really have a like 
objective, I would say. And I think that's fine for short stories. Um, short stories are kind of just, at least the way that I use them, a way for me to explore my writing and explore ideas that like I don't really want to like spend time like writing a novel on. So this was me kind of exploring like a sci-fi dystopian world um, and I'm really proud of where it is right now. I think the writing is actually really good um, because I am drafting it slowly uh, which is something that I, I know creators and writers talk a lot is that fast drafting you know, is it actually beneficial? Um, I think it can be. Nice to see what a story looks like when I'm actually like taking my time and, and focusing on word choice and that sort of thing. Um, so it's not finished. I did not finish a short story in January, but I did start one and uh, I'm proud of where it is going. So we'll take that for what it is. Um, I plan on continuing to work on that and then hopefully writing another short story in the month of February. Now, as far as poetry goes, um, I was trying to write two poems a month. I did not write a single poem this month, but I'm kind of giving myself a little bit of a pass on January because of everything that happened in my life this month. So the new year really is starting for me in February. Um, my kids are both going to start daycare. <laughs> Um, on the 6th and uh, I'm starting work like full-time hours at my job at the end of February. So February really is like the kickoff of 2023 for me and that's totally fine. I'm easing in to the new year. I have started brainstorming my um, d and retired adventurers inspired serial series called When We Were Legends. Uh, I've started brainstorming that and that will be the uh, first weekly writing vlog that you're going to see um, from me this year uh, is going to be around that story. And I have a lot of really fun ideas for like, covering the writing that I want to do on this channel this year. Um, as I mentioned, I want to try to draft four books this year. Um, Project Spell Runner is going to be one of those, so I would like to get that theoretically query ready at the end of the year. So Project Spellrunner is gonna be like my Camp NaNoWriMo project. I'm gonna work on that in April and July for camp, I think right now, <laughs> that's the plan. Um, and then I have three other stories uh, that I want to work on this year, one of them being When We Were Legends. So more about those in videos to come. So um, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button to stick around uh, and I'll be sharing all of my writing ideas that I wanna work on. Uh, this year, next year, in the future, that sort of thing uh, with you really soon. Let's move on to talking about reading goals. If you like reading, uh, <laughs> who doesn't like reading? As writers, I think it's important to be reading, which is why I'm kind of like tying in reading to this channel um, a little bit anyway. So I set a goal for myself to read 100 books this year. Um, and the reason I did that is because I'm not a consistent reader. I will go months without reading anything and then binge read a bunch of books in one month. So I figured that this would, you know, keep me accountable to like read consistently throughout the year because like to read 100 books, you basically have to read eight books a month, um, which spoiler alert, I did not read eight books in January. Hey, mommy. Yes. I don't know. where. <laughs> I got interrupted by my toddler. So anyways, I did not read eight books this month because I moved, like I said, but I did still read a lot considering all things considered. Um, and I'm very proud of that. So I read six books. Um, I'll put the like information for my story graph over here. Um, I read six books totaling 1,761 pages. Um, all of the books that I read were fiction because I don't like reading nonfiction books. Um, and most of the books that I read were fantasy because that's the genre I like to read. Um, so yes. Um, oh, I guess you want to know what I actually read this month. So the books that I read this month were Poster Girl by Veronica Roth, Before the Coffee Gets Cold, House of Sky and Breath, uh, Pyre and Essie, They Both Die at the End, and Witch Hat Atelier Volume 1. So, I mean, really, really phenomenal reading month, to be completely honest. I enjoyed all of the books that I read. Everything was at least a three star, and I had two five star reads, and they were Witch Hat Atelier and Poster Girl by Veronica Roth. So, I'm going to talk about Witch Hat Atelier first. Um, 
part of the reason why I love this reading goal is because it requires me to read like shorter books or things that I wouldn't normally pick up. So I'm reading more manga this year, which is a lot of fun. This was so cozy and I just love the vibes of this. Um, I just realized that I'm holding it upside down. Uh, it's just, yeah, this is great. I can't wait to continue on with this series. Um, I actually went yesterday to get the second one in my local bookshop and they didn't have it, which was very sad. So I need to order it, but uh, cannot recommend this enough. So cute. And then my, also holding it upside down, my other five star read for the month was Poster Girl by Veronica Roth. Veronica Roth, you probably know, is the author of the Divergent series. Um, and this is her new adult dystopian. And I would say that this kind of leans more like literary fiction, but it is a dystopian. Um, and the, honestly, the reviews about this were mixed. I loved this book. I read this book in one sitting uh, when they were packing our house. Um, literally one day it took me to read this book. It is so good. If you love dystopians, pick this up. This is every bit of the adult dystopian that I have been searching for and like craving. I just, I love this morally gray characters. Just like, oh, so good. I <laughs> literally want to make a whole video on this book, but I have forgotten my thoughts on it at this point. Um, but yeah, I love this book. So that's all I have for you uh, reading wise. Um, I listened to two audiobooks, House of Sky and Breath, and They Both Die at the End. House of Sky and Breath was a five star read for me also. And just like anything Sarah, Mas, Sarah J. Mass writes is probably at this point gonna be a five star read. Um, I love the Crescent City series. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but man, I just love it. I relate to like Bryce and Danica so much. Um, and I just love that series. Just the twists, the turns, the frat pack, the characters. Um, yeah, so I'm really enjoying it. I started reading the first one uh, physically and then switched to audiobook. And I'm so, so happy I did that. I love the audiobooks. They're so good. Um, so I will probably continue reading those on audiobook. And then the second audiobook I read this month was They Both Die at the End, which it has taken me months to finish. I started this book probably like last summer, uh, maybe not, maybe last fall. Um, and I was kind of disappointed, I'm not gonna lie. Um, it seems like I, I understand why people love this book. And I think that there are so many things about this book that really make it a standout. But I was just at the end kind of disappointed and honestly I almost DNF'd it a, a couple of times and really the only reason that I kept reading it or kept listening to it was because um, Robbie Damon, who is the voice actor for Tuxedo Mask and was also on Critical Role, he's the voice actor for one of the characters in the audiobook. Uh, or the narrator, not the voice actor. And um, I love him. So that's really like the one reason I kept reading that book. Um, so yeah, if you have audiobook recommendations, please let me know in the comments because I have audio audible credits that I need to use. And I'm very, very picky about using my audible credits. So uh, I don't want to hoard those. I do want to use them to help with my reading. Uh, I have a 20 minute commute both ways to take my kids to daycare starting next week. So that's 80 minutes roughly a day in the car. So I'm gonna need some audiobooks. Hit me with those. Let me know how your January went with writing or reading both or one or the other. I'd love to chat with you in the comments um, and I'll see you real soon. Bye guys. So when you're leaving tomorrow, just give me something to hold on to.